Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I've got my check in for week 2 of July and I'll be cashed up in £280 for week 3 as well. So I'm just going to jump right in. We've actually got some money here which I'll explain in a minute. But in groceries, Ryan has broke this wallet again on so I need to get a new one. We've got 45 left and some change. It was a shorter week because I posted late the last time because we were back from Rome and we were just busy. Um, this week we've been very preoccupied just kind of packing up the house and getting things organised and we've not had the kids a couple of times. Um, they just went and stayed at their grandparents because we were obviously really busy. So yeah, we've got four or five pound left. Ten pounds in household. Ten in fuel. I actually thought there was only five in there but anyway. Uh, five pound in spend, uh, miscellaneous. And we've got five pounds in spending. We've got quite a bit this week actually. Now days out. Now I can't remember who it was, but somebody had mentioned about taking the coins out and putting a five in. So I'm going to do that. So one, two, three, four, five. So thank you if it was you because honestly I couldn't remember who it was. So we've got thirty pounds in days out, but actually this is eating into the school holidays. Um. School holidays is looking okay, but we went out for a meal with my mum and Grace, and then Grace also got her ears pierced this week. Um, very, very brave. She was honestly, she was super duper, and um, I wanted to give her a wee treat. And she's always been wanting her ears pierced. She's wanted it done for a while now, and because she's five, we went to a place that was um, like known well for that kind of thing. We didn't go to Claire's because I'd, I've not heard great reviews about it, even though it is cheaper. Um, so yeah, that came out of school holidays as well. I wasn't really sure where else to take it from. I could have taken it from Grace's envelope or a bank, but I just thought there's money in the school holidays um, and we didn't obviously spend any last week, so it's fine. And then kids, £10. There we go. Oh my goodness. Everything just fell. But it's fine. <laughs> Let me just pick all that back up. If anything is missing that I'm looking for, I'll know where to look. So in notes we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, now we've also got some money here, 75, now we've got 15 and then £7, so we've got £23, £22 even, um, so the £10 came from a set of chest of drawers that were not taken with us, it was in a cupboard I actually forgot about, um, we've got integrated cupboards in our house in a couple of the bedrooms and the chest of drawers was in the wardrobe and I forgot all about it until we were obviously moving things about and I thought, do you know what, I don't need that. It's, there's no point in it coming to our home because I'll just fill the drawers up with junk. Um, so I sold it for £10. The £5 was for one of Lucas's toys that was sold that he's grown out of and then £7 was for... What did we sell that was for £7? Um, oh, sugar. I did have it in my mind and I can't even remember now. Um, seven pounds. Oh, yeah, the old life jacket. So we have these things called puddle jumpers, which are really good for the kids. Um, I bought a couple from Costco way back when Grace was little, and um, my mum actually bought one at the same time, and then so we've ended up with an extra one. So I just sold it for seven pounds on the Facebook Marketplace. So let's see what we've got. We'll add three to that one, and that makes it a ten. And we'll add this in here. Now I've got a plan for where my money's going to go today because I actually want to get a few challenges complete. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. But whether or not the dice will decide <laughs> um, if that's going to be possible with the rolls I'm going to do. But I'll explain that along the way as well. I did have some money during the week which I cashed off, but that was um, done on Instagram. So I actually showed you kind of what challenges I put that into and I started another challenge as well. So I started the Hungry Herbivores, um, which is from, oh, I can't remember the name. I know it's Joe, but I can't remember the first part of her. It's on it anyway, I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I also started the Rock Paper Spin as well. So we've got £5 there. So we've got 25 in coins. We've got one. Oh no, we've not. Yay! <laughs> um, right, so we've got two fifty pences, and then we've got 20, 40, 
60, 80, 1, 20, 32. So 132. If I get hiccups throughout this filming, I am not to blame because <laughs> they've been on and off for like the last hour and I've been waiting for them to finish so that I can actually do this video and, and I feel like they're going to come back. Um, my hiccups are awful, honestly. They really are. Right, one, three, two. Let's see. So we can do 68 and then 64. That's good. Nice and easy to do. So before I start, I'm going to just quickly show you my bits that I got from Holly Budgets because she very kindly popped in this. So I've already got the dice tower, obviously. Um, this is like a coin or a dice holder, whatever you want. And then I also ordered this box, which is going to be holding all my bits and bobs. Um, so my calculator, it's got my name on it. Oh, and this. Oh, I forgot to have this out. My little budget with Kerry sign. I'm going to pop that, I think, there. Yeah, that's it. that looks good. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, Holly. Honestly, like, your bits are amazing, and I'm very happy with them. Right, let's get started. Um, okay. So, I am planning on completing four different challenges today. Um, one of the challenges you've obviously seen me doing. You've seen the progress throughout it, and then the other three challenges are the smaller ones, and then. Altogether, I should have £1,255, roughly, um, to restuff and reallocate in a different video. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start with this one here. So in here we've got Scouse Girl Budgets. And for Becca's, we're needing 15 for this bottom row. So we'll do a 10 and a 5. And then on the next page, we're needing 10, 20. So that's 20 pounds. And then this uh, 35 pounds in this book is complete. I've really enjoyed doing this book, to be honest, because it's been like the smaller ones and it's worked up to the bigger ones. And it's been a good a good amount as well and um, I like the challenges that are kind of like 500 pounds because when you do put it into sinking funds it feels like it's a dent um, so yeah and in my next video when I reallocate this I'll obviously tell you about all my different goals um, that I'm kind of changing so anyway we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 30 40, 45, 50. So 550 pounds done in this challenge. Absolutely amazing. So that's going to come out. Okay. Now, we're going to go to Crack the Code, which isn't in here, I don't think. Um, no, it's not in here. Let's do Crack the Code first, and then I can see what I'm left with to do the other two challenges that I was referring to. So we're going to go in here. Now, this binder is getting chunky. Um, oh, and a lot of people were asking about what I actually put on Amazon for these. So I just put in... Um, a6 binder with strap and they come up but some of them are taking ages to actually get delivered because they're not in stock yet which is fine but yeah you just need to be patient with it I suppose okay so this is one of the ones I done off camera on my Instagram and on that I got four pounds so I'm going to put the four pound in and do this and then I'm going to do two rows of two two rows of two 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 rows Right, let's see what we get. Well, these two are high ones. <laughs> I'm doing the other ones. Okay. So we've got a, three, a two and a one. So we'll put another three in. So one, two, three. And then we'll do one more. A six and a four. Which is ten. And we'll pop that in as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So I'm going to swap those out for a five. And we will see how much we've got in total. Let's see. So this is from Little Moon Budgets. It used to be a budget with Abby, but it's obviously Little Moon Budgets now. Um, and I really do love this challenge, to be honest. It's I've done it a few times now, and it just adds up a nice wee amount. So we've got... There we go. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 74 pounds in Crack the Code. And that is complete as well. I do love completing challenges. It's my motivation. <laughs> there we go. So that's complete as well. I've added this one in. So this is the... I'm going to pop down at the side actually. <clears throat> this is the Pages to Pounds um, challenge and I've put four pounds in because recently I have completed the Bridgerton um, number five book which is Francesca's story and no it's not. Was it? Yeah it was. It was Francesca's. Um, so I've completed that one and now I'm on to Eloise's. Um, no it was the other way around. I completed Eloise's and now I'm on Francesca's story. Um, gosh that's confusing so yeah that is started in there it's not going to add up to lots because I'm rounding it up so it'll be probably about four pounds each book I think um, but it'll be a nice little savings and it's more for me just to focus on how much I'm reading uh, to be honest right so the next two that I want to complete so obviously I said I want to complete four challenges and the fifth challenge I'm on about is my Studio Budget Lane book which is in here um, my other two is the B challenge and hopefully the um, what other challenge so the B challenge so we're putting in 5 and 10 Oh, that's not the right one. So this one's actually just going to be five pounds on its own, just so I can get that forty-five rather than forty-two fifty. So twenty, thirty, thirty-five, and forty in there. So again, that's complete, and I'm going to add. I'll add another challenge eventually. I'm not going to do it right now. And then the other challenge was the strawberry picking um, from Studio Budget Co. And this needed, I think it was 18, so 5, 10, 22, 4, 6, 8. So I'm going to put in the 20 and take out two. Oh, and that'll give us Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, forty. So we've got five, ten, eh, tw fifty, sorry, then two, four, six, eight. So eighteen pounds getting added to that. Okay. So we've got quite a few chat uh, mon quite a few money left. <laughs> we've got a bit of money left, which we're going to just add to our different challenges now. Um, right, so what have we got in here? So, we've got a couple of new ones, which is the Tertially Awesome Savings Challenge and the Roller Match Challenge. So they're going to be getting used for spending money. We have got the Ice Cream Challenge. I can put five into here. One, two, three, four, There we go. Do I add another? Mm. We'll just leave it at that. I want to do the money multiplier so we can come back to this one in a minute. And I might do risk of six actually as well. So money multiplier. I rolled it off camera again after adding the 12. Luckily I got a three and a one, which was, you probably won't believe me <laughs> because it seems to give me all the high numbers. So I'm gonna put that three pounds in. I'm going to give it a dot. So this one was in a dot as well. 
and I'll get the two dice and we'll do another one for next time. So six times two is 12. So 12 can go in next time and that's fine. So that's the two pound added just now. We can go to knockout nine, I think, and do knockout nine before we run out of money. We'll just do one, I think, and see how we get on. Right, so we'll bring this in a little bit. Let's see. Six and three is nine. That's two and one is three. Four and two is six. That's five. That's ten. So we can do eight and two. We've got eleven, so we can do yeah, seven and four. No way, I can't shut the box. <laughs> so we're putting in a pound. Oh, we'll do another one. See, this is what it does. It it gives you a good line and lures you into a false sense of security to then just totally wipe you out on the next second line. Oh, let's just oh, let's just do it. So we've got six. Oh gosh. We've got eight, nine, oh, snake eyes, two, oh, sugar. See, that made me nervous. <laughs> oh, three, oh, sugar. That's seven. Then that's nine, so that's five and four. No way. I can't do another pa oh really? Am I gonna have to do another line? Mm. Do I do another line? I don't know, I don't know. Um Okay, we'll just do one more. We'll do one more. That's ten, so nine and one. Three, eight, five, six, seven, eight, so six and two. That's eight again, so we can't do eight again. So we've got um, 16, so we've got seven and five, that's 12, and four is 16. Okay, so let's see what how many coins we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we'll do one five, and then we'll do two, four, five, and then we'll do two, four, six. Yep, that's right. So that was oh yeah and we've got these two as well so that was three lines all together i don't know what went on there but three lines hmm i feel suspicious okay so i'll pop them in here there's lots of coin in there now which i might just have to um put into a jar like a flat jar or something we'll see right so we've got nine pounds left uh, oh, a 50 pences. How did I forget about those? Right, let's see. I've got two 50 pences. And then we've got this money left. So we're going to do our um, through the ages. <laughs> forgot what it was called there. So we're going to do five and two, which is seven, because it's seven pounds is the next one. And then I will roll for the next one as well. So we've got seven. And then we use a dice. So three, so we're on this one again. So we're needing a one or five. <sighs> Gosh, I should really just do it myself. I'm, oh, right, I'll go for the next one. Never mind. Never mind.
Okay, so the next one's 10. So we won't be doing that today. Well, obviously, because there's only £2 left, but... I need a wee hoover. I need a wee hoover. Um, yeah, do you know what? That's fine, though. And then that'll be 4 out of 5 complete for this page. And then we're getting on okay. We've not done anything on the 40. We've not done anything on 50. Oh, we've done one on 50, sorry. And then we've not done anything on 20. But that's going going good. Um, where can I put £2? Mm -mm -mm. Where can I put £2? Let's think, let's think. Nothing in here. I don't think there's anything in here either that we can do two pounds with. Um, maybe the toast. Or oh, do you know what? I'm yeah. We'll do toast. We'll do the toast challenge. What bit is it? So this is from Soft Budget and Life. We'll put two pounds in. And I've already crossed off the one of the breads, but we will do, I think there's a two in here, yeah. There we go. So that's the two completed. Right, there we go. Now, let's get our money out for the cash stuffing. So we are doing £280 today. And we are on week three of July. July is a five week month for us. Um, so we've got an extra month at the end. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, 50, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So like I said, I've got a couple of new games for um, my spend money and stuff. And I'll go through that in a minute. There we go. Okay. Where is my Safiano? Um, oh, I bet that was one of the things that dropped. Give me a minute. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm going to do it one at a time. So we've got um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 5, 100. That's for groceries. So we've got 20, 40 for fuel. And then £10 for spending. So we're going to see what we can do with these first in the challenges. And then we will stuff the remaining um right so groceries was for was it this one spending and fuel money okay so let's just do Do I do one of, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do Studio Budget Lane's new one. So this is the seaside one which I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is, this is the, the look of it. So I'll give you a wee quick run through. So we've got, oh, gross money, duh. <laughs> um, Beat Hut Bent, Rental. We've got Fish or Chips Flipper. We've got SB Dairy. We've got Invaders. Chop It Like It's Hot. Simply The Zest. Um, Brave The Wave and then Rock and Roll. So we've got these ones here. So I'm going to do... How many is there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sided dice. And we will see what we can get. This is an eight sided. So we've got seven, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> this is a good one because they're actually only five or ten. Um, so I'm just going to go with the first one. So we are a five in this one. Just totally made the mess off my desk, but it's fine. Right, there we go. So we've got our first five going into Brave the Wave. I'm going to give it a wee tick to see that it's done. And that is our grossing money challenge complete. So that's that. Yeah, so this is the new binder that I've got for my studio budget lane just because it does take up a lot of coins, I think. So I think this is the better option um, rather than the binder. 
so I bought that from Amazon and then we're going to do our fuel money next which is the new one from Eva the Rockin' Witch so it says we've got to pick one of the two colours that are on the dice roll three times and try and get three of the same colour in a row I don't understand why we need to pick a dice colour though Eva please help me why do I need to pick a colour? Do I need to make sure it's the right colour? I don't know. Um, as you roll, fill in the colours. Okay. So if we end up with a mix of three, we've got to save ten. If we end up with the same colour, we've got to save five. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we've got a pink. And a purple. And a purple. Okay. So we didn't save 10. Why does that look the exact same? You've seen me just do purple, didn't you? And pink. That looks even more pink. What is going on? Um, right, I'm going to have to have a look at my colours because that's not that's not any good if it's not looking purple. We'll just have to do that just now. And I'm just going to put... Oh, P, P, P. I can't just put pink, purple, purple because it's they're all P's. Um, right, what I'll do is I'll put 10. I just need to get different pens because they two are not going to work out together. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my pens. <laughs> Right, so we're going to put 10 in, so we will do, can't do that, we'll need to go to a challenge first, here's a challenge here, let's see. There we go, so we're going to put 10 into this rockin' witch challenge, which is called Rule and Match. There we go. And then the Churchly Awesome Challenge, we're going to pick out a turtle and see what we're doing with our spending money. Lucas is obsessed with these turtles, so if any go missing, I know where to look. So we have got a wee pink one, which is this one here, and that is £10. So we're getting no spending money today. I don't usually use my spending money anyway, so I'm actually quite alright with this. Um, but if I take the spending money away, I'll end up not having... I'll end up wanting to use it. So there we go. So we're on a roll with this. Right, so let's get back to the cash stuff in now. So the row says we have got 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. Household, we we're putting in 10. Feel, we have got 30 pounds. Miscellaneous, we've got five. Spending, we've got nothing. And then kids are getting a 10. That's that. Right, so we're going to go into the kids' binder. I keep thinking this is a mark, but that's just when um, Knockout 9 gave me a fright. <laughs> right, so we're doing five for Lucas. Like this, sorry. And five for Lucas. Oh. Ryan is getting some money today. He is getting twenty pound. This is for his birthday next year, so we're doing. We'll do April because that's twenty. Um, that's fine. So we've got twenty, forty, sixty. We're going to go into my short term sinking funds and we're going to clothing. So clothing is actually getting £20. So we're up to 40 in clothing. And then we're going to go to my binder. And this is exciting. So we're actually putting £10, £20 even, into the big budgeting meetup. So this is for next year. So we're going to start that off in here. 
there we go and then we're going to go to annuals aha emergency that's not emergency <laughs> emergency yay So we're putting £10 into emergency. Now I need to count this because I think I've done too many dots now. 20, 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to do another one. Five. There we go. Yeah, I was getting myself really confused with that. There we go. Then we're going to go into my other annuals binders. This is my annual like savings challenges. Um, and we're going to do summer. So summer is getting, let's see, it wasn't the 20, it was the one after that. So let's see what that is. 15. 16. 15. Oh, it's the wee barbecue. I do love a barbecue, but we've not actually been able to have many because the weather's been shocking for summer. We've got 20, 30, 45 in there. And then we're going to start Halloween, which is getting a 10. So this challenge, before anybody asks, is from the Budgeting Bear, who no longer does challenges or Etsy or anything like that. So... Just to let you know before you do ask, because I did get a lot of questions about it last year, because it's very pretty. It's such a pretty Halloween challenge. Um, but no, she's no longer, and I don't know why. I still wonder. Like, see people who have just went missing, like, from my kind of start on YouTube, um, without any reason. I just wonder. I wonder how they are. So we have got ten in here. Now we do. <laughs> okay. There we go. So that has been a successful cash stuff in and check in because we have completed lots of challenges. I'm very, very happy with that. And I will do a big reallocation um, as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I love my new bits from Budget Holly, Holly Budgets even. Um, and yeah, I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.